Welcome back, everyone. Ability Beyond in Bethel is a nonprofit organization that provides support and employment for adults with disabilities all across Connecticut and in New York. And with us today is Paul Starry Bratt, career education specialist at Ability Beyond, and client Chantel Moore, who actually became an entrepreneur by selling chocolate bark. This is so cool. They are here to tell us about their innovative programs during Autism Awareness Month in April, their annual fundraising gala, and so much. Much more. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for it's having a us. Pleasure to have this you. This is awesome to be here. Thank you so much. Let's talk yeah. about Ability Beyond. Sure. Tell us all about it. Uh, we're a 65 year old company. We provide services for virtually every kind of disability there is, whether it's emotional, intellectual, physical. Um, I just hit my 20th year, so it's kind of a, an awesome milestone for me That's to wild. be part of its huge history. Um, we have so many different types of services, residential services, psychiatric services, uh, transition services, which is what I do, and vocational services. Why is what you do so important? For young adults, um, when they leave high school, there's really not a lot of funding for them to do anything. So they need continued supports. We used to uh, refer people out, and we realized that those services were inadequate or just didn't exist. So we had to create our own transition service. So that helps them uh, get the skills that they need to be ready for the world of work, post-secondary education, uh, people with autism, I think it's close to 90% are just not employed, which is insane. And we are really great. trying to address that. And I, so far, so good. We're doing really great. As you can see, she's doing fantastic. So Absolutely. I can't wait to hear about your story. Can you talk a little bit more about how you make that happen, how you get these individuals into the jobs that they so desperately need? Right. A lot of connecting with the community, I would say, is huge. We use the community as our, one of our biggest resources. Mm -hmm. So we partner with them, um, whether it's trying to funnel someone into a job or like an internship. We do a lot of volunteering. We create our own curriculum and which we can teach these guys all the things that they need. Simple things from how to get ready for a job interview, writing a resume, getting their name out there. Uh, we try to cover everything. And you know, here we have living proof of yeah. you know what can happen, She's right? Fantastic. Chantel, you're an entrepreneur. You have come yes. up with well this delicious, <laughs> yes. impressive chocolate bark. Tell us about your business. Well, when I first moved to Ability, it was kind of hard to adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But over the while, with me having support with from my staff and my peers, it became better mm -hmm. for me to be around people, to have fun, and think about what I want to do in my life a as a job and as a career. My career, I want to be a baker. I want to have my own bakery with, you know, all types of baked goods and coffee and all that stuff. The reason why I, become, the reason why I want to become a um, baker is because I watch my mom bake for Christmas mm -hmm. and um, holidays. So my whole family comes from cooking and baking and all the sweet stuff. A lot of inspiration there. And I mean, you're well on your way. Yes. Th these, uh, you brought these treats with you and they look amazing. This is your chocolate bark. Yes. How did you come up with, you know, this idea, the flavors? Well, we came up with this idea on, you know, computer, we looked up some stuff, um, wrote some stuff down. Um, the reason why I wanted to do candy bark is because everybody likes chocolate, everybody likes candy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Good businesswoman. Yeah, <laughs> smart, smart move. It's fun to make, it's fun to do. The Yaz Business events that I go to, I mostly sell. Sometimes I teach, but mm -hmm. usually when I teach, I usually teach making sweets and stuff. Um, but Yaz Business has taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of nice people there. You get to interact with your peers and friends and people that you don't know. You get to meet new people. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice to be in that situation and do that type of stuff. Absolutely. All of this requires funding, right? Right. So that leads into your gala. When is it? And, and tell us all about it. So it's uh, April 27th. Mm -hmm. I believe it's an enchanted forest theme. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. We're actually volunteering to help set yes. it up. It's going to be a five day affair of us helping set it up and get it going. It's a fundraiser. It, we need these kinds of funds as um, the government c continues to make these mm -hmm. cuts. And so a lot of bootstrapping is involved, but uh, we're very optimistic and very hopeful. Wonderful. We have the uh, full screen up for folks to get the information. Obviously, you have your website, yes, too. Yes, uh, abilitybeyond.org, and you can get information about our transition services, any service, and the gala. All right.
right. Thank you so much for coming on. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would you like some bark? Uh, yes, please. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You are so generous. Thank you.